What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hit Me Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is going to be a stuffed meatloaf. We're going to be rocking this out Italian style. This recipe is in collaboration with another YouTube channel by the name of Authentic Epic Boom. She does not have a cooking channel, although she is trying to dabble a little bit into cooking, but she's more of a vlog channel, kind of gets her celebrity dirt on, things like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to her channel and iCard above and description below. You can't know enough about what's going on in Hollywood. Anyway, what we're going to be doing, like I said, stuffed meatloaf. What are we going to do? We're going to stuff it with some mozzarella cheese, some sun-dried tomatoes, all different kind of good stuff. Anyway, instead of me telling you what I'm doing, come on in and take a look at these ingredients. So here are the ingredients we're going to be using. I don't have a specific recipe for this. I'm hoping that this video will serve as more inspiration than an actual recipe. Anyway, we have some 50-50 uh, beef and pork mixture here, some salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, granulated garlic and onion, basil, we have some uh, parsley that's chopped up as well, some sun-dried tomatoes, and some mozzarella cheese that we're going to be shredding, and some Philadelphia cream cheese. Anyway, what I need to do is get this cheese shredded up and I'll see you back. Let's start getting this filling made. What I've done was I have some the mozzarella cheese is shredded in a bowl. I have the cream cheese. We're just going to go ahead and add our basil, parsley, and our garlic and onion powder as well as some of our sun-dried tomatoes. And like I said, this is just something that we're playing by ear. Might as well throw as much in there as possible. Let's go ahead and just kind of start mixing it in. This is about as mixed up as it needs to be. Now if you want to run over and check out Authentic Epic Booms Meatloaf Recipe, I'm going to leave a link to her uh, recipe in the iCard above that should be popping out right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Let's get working on this beef. And pork, excuse me. So we have our ground beef, ground pork. This is going to be real simple. We're not going to be adding any eggs or anything to that unless it looks like it needs it. We're adding our Italian spice, our salt, and our pepper. We're just going to kind of mix this in. All right. Now we have that mixed in, I'm going to go ahead, you know, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of these, these breadcrumbs to it. Alright, this looks good to me. Let's start putting this together. So at this point, all we're going to do is we're going to add this meat into our muffin tin. Now I bought this muffin tin, they were like three for a dollar. They're real cute ones. Normally I'd make my meatloaf a little bit bigger than this, but we're just gonna place it in our tin and we're gonna kind of come up along the sides, kind of like this. So now that we have this middle kind of hollowed out, all we need to do is go ahead and fill it with our cheese mixture. And it looks like I have more than enough for this one recipe, so I might be Trying to think of something creative to do with this. So we're going to stuff this in. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more in. Boom. Go back over it with the rest of this meat mixture. We're going to try to make sure we get it pressed in really good. Now we're going to be throwing this in the oven. And I'm not going to want to throw it in at a high temperature because I don't want, a lot of times if you throw it in at like 350, 375, somewhere in there, you'll start, the, the mixture will actually start boiling. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to be cooking this at a low temperature, probably in that 290, actually we're going to go at 295. And I'm going to go for about 30 minutes on it. Then when 30 minutes is up, 
I'm thinking I might actually fry this. You know what? We'll take a look and see kind of how it looks when it comes out of the oven. But I may go ahead and throw some breadcrumbs on the outside and fry it up. Now that this meatloaf has come out of the oven after being in there for about 45 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool all the way down to room temperature. I do think I'm going to go ahead and bread this and fry it. Anyway, I'll see you back when this cools down. Now that we've had a chance to let this meatloaf rest for about 45 minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and coat this with these Italian breadcrumbs. Uh, so this is kind of a larger meatloaf, so I'm not just going to be able to pick it and put it up in the egg wash. So what I'm going to do, I just have it in a skillet. Let's just go ahead and pour this egg wash over our meatloaf. And if you're making a smaller meatloaf, this will not even be an issue. I just didn't know that mine was going to be this big. So anyway, we got this coated with egg. We're going to come over here to these breadcrumbs. We're going to coat all sides of this. And once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and get over to this skillet. I have that, uh, or not the skillet, but I have uh, my hot oil uh, set at about 325 degrees. So that's the temperature we're going to be uh, frying it at. So I'll meet you over at the fryer. All right, let's get this bad boy and this oil. Now I'm going to be very careful with this because this is a pretty big meatloaf right here. It's probably, I'd say about three, four pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and just brown this on um, all sides. It's probably going to take a good four minutes to get this whole thing done. Alright, so this has been cooked on all sides. We're going to go ahead and set this in our... I'm, I'm just using a cast iron skillet. It doesn't really matter. We're not really worried about draining all the grease off of this. Or the oil, should I say. So we got that over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over it with a little bit of our fresh basil. Alright, got that. Now we're going to hit it with some of this mozzarella cheese. And if some of that basil falls off, just go ahead and stick that back on there. Can't have enough mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go over it. I just have some leftover jarred, uh, some kind of a tomato sauce. We're just going to go ahead and go with that over that. I have my oven on 350 degrees. We're going to go ahead and throw it in the oven until this cheese and all that starts melting. And I'll see you back when that's done. This just came out of the oven after being in there for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let it cool down for probably another 10-15 minutes. And then we'll cut into it and see what we're working with. So let's cut into this meatloaf and see what I'm working with. You know, that looks good. Why don't you come on in and take a look? good most of the cheese stayed inside of the meatloaf not a lot of it leaked out I guess it doesn't really matter if it doesn't taste good but uh, that was a lot of work for a meatloaf this is very rich What really comes through, obviously that cheese, but you have that uh, sun-dried tomato and that uh, basil kicking it in gear. I'm saying that with as rich as this meatloaf is, maybe about that much would be all that I'm going to need out of this. But I want to change it up a little bit since I was collaborating, so I'd like to thank Authentic Epic Boom for coming up with this collaboration idea. Nothing wrong with throwing down a little outside the box meatloaf. All you guys that have watched this video, run over to her channel. Like I said, links in the i-card above in the description below. Take a look at what she has going on. 
Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.